everybody. Thanks for joining us for NBA Action on 2K Sports. This is Kevin Harlan with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg and our sideline reporter David Aldridge. It's the Philadelphia 76ers and the Philadelphia 76ers. So Philadelphia will get the first possession. Now a look at Philadelphia's starting lineup. Richardson and Harris filling out the wing. The incredible Simmons and MB down low. And it's Milton in at the point guard position. Now here's Simmons. Shot clock at six. The 76ers need to get off a shot. A shot by Milton, no good. To the middle, here's McGinnis. And McGinnis throws it down. Yeah, you know, one thing about being a great scorer, you draw a lot of defensive attention. And there, Irving takes advantage by finding an open teammate. Here's Milton. Pass to Simmons. Tries from 10. And he overshot that one, missing. And so it's Irving. He brings it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. And Dr. James sends it in. <laughs> One of the best dunkers in the league off the drive. I mean, he's often still hanging in the air while the other guys are on their way down. Now here's Simmons. MB. And it's blocked. passes to Bibby. Harris against Irving. And the rejection by Embiid. You look at this combination of reach and timing. It makes Embiid a superb shot block. Here's Milton. Bibby covering. Here's Milton. Off on the layup. Boy, they are frigid right now. I mean, failing to connect on their first four attempts. And keeping us updated from the sideline, let's swing it over to David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin, I was able to catch up with Philadelphia's head coach. And Joel Embiid was right at the top of their scouting report. Arguably the most dominant big man in the game today. Coach said it will be a team effort to slow him down. And to not get his hair. Kevin, back to you. Thank you, David. And Philadelphia decides to take their first time out right here. Things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. to Embiid. Simmons trying to get open. Embiid, no good. And the 76ers with possession. Now Bibby. Five on the clock. Elbow shot. And Joel Embiid pulls it down. The 76ers trail by six. Pass to Richardson. Out of bounds will be 76ers ball. 76ers ball. And it's the 76ers with the ball. 
side Cowan. And the rejection by Embiid. Here's Simmons. Oh, Excellent concentration that time by the six foot ten Simmons. Very good at completing these chances despite the defense's best efforts. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Misses for Simmons. You know, after missing his first year out of college due to injury, Ben Simmons ended up winning Rookie of the Year in 2018, proving the weight of his work. Here's McGinnis. A beautiful reverse play. McGinnis has got his second bucket tonight. Yeah, and he's got such a great touch and feel around the basket. He made that reverse look easy. Harris against Irving. And there's Embiid. That's good on the assist by Harris. Embiid is a very assertive player, a player who fights the defense on these contact finishes and does so with confidence. The pass to Collins. Passes it to McGinnis. Four on the clock. The 76ers need to get off a shot. By Collins, no good. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. Harris inside. He's covered by Irving. Harris, good. Yeah, you know, Harris is an active player. I mean, he's smooth and he's skilled, but he's also a guy that's got some grit and grind to him as well and gets in there and keeps possessions alive. Now, here's Collins. He's still scoreless so far in this one. Here's Milton. He nails it, and we're tied up. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. Here's Collins. With the fadeaway. And that one hits back iron. Simmons passes to Milton. Back to Simmons. Over Bibby. And trying for the go-ahead basket. It doesn't go in. Taken away. Fast break, Philadelphia. All alone. Rips down the breakaway slam. Way ahead of the field. He can do pretty much whatever he wants. You know, and not leaving anything to chance either. That's why he takes it right to the buck. And Philadelphia decides to take their first timeout right here. Bibby. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Kicks to Collins. Pass to McGinnis. To end the drought. A shot off that time. And Philadelphia the other way now. Here's Milton. Pass to Harris. 
over Collins. And the basket by Harris. Oh, great ball movement there. The 76ers trail by four. To the wing on the left. And the 76ers making a change here. Freeze checked in. Now here's MB. And Simmons slams it in. You know, one thing you got to love about Embiid is how unselfish he is. I mean, he's pretty good at spotting open teammates. Outside Irving. Over Harris. And Irving gets it to go on the assist by Bibby. Irving's got six points. Boy, at the offensive end, his game is so impressive. I mean, he's a threat every time up the floor. And there's the pass to Milton. Back to Harris. Six on the shot clock. Milton's shot is good. Milton's got his third basket of the night. Moving it around. Eight of their last ten coming off assists. And Greg, you know nothing makes a coach happier than selflessness on the basketball court. Irving can't get it to go. I think in that situation, it was a nice try to create some space for himself with the fadeaway. Here's Simmons and the 76ers tack on two more. Boy, he's a real bully inside. I mean, you forget sometimes that Simmons is 6'9", 6'10", with nice touch. It's a nice combination near the basket. Out of bounds will be 76ers ball. And that's just another mistake. I mean, they, they've got it on autopilot, and they look totally dejected. Al Horford is checked in for Shake Milton. Now the 76ers with it. They're on an 18-4 run. Simmons with it. He's got six. Here's Richardson. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the 76ers. They've made the commitment to get out and run, and it's paid off with some highlight real plays in transition. They've gotten their fair share of points off turnovers so far tonight, too. He misses the free throw. Some changes for Philadelphia. Catchings is checked in for Dawkins. Mix comes in for McGinnis. And Dudley's subbed in for Bibby. No good at the strike this time. The second this is also. Here's Dunleavy. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. Really crisp, intelligent passing to make that basket possible. Richardson kicks to Horford. It's Richardson on the wing. Fended by Dunleavy. Offensive rebound. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. He's got ideal position inside. And the MB goes right into the contact. He hunts it out. First trip to the line for him here. Yeah, he's at 81% from the line. And, and when we've had a chance to see him, he's had great form and, and continues to look confident. You know, he's been one of those players they've wanted on the line as much as possible this season, especially in close games, guys. So skilled and has such an infectious personality. Joel Embiid is hard not to love. I mean, he just oozes that kind of attraction. I mean, his potential unlimited. Alec Burks checked in for Richardson. And he's good on the second. Here's free. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. Timeout. timeout called the 76ers. Okay, Philadelphia, let's give a hand to your own Sixers dancers. Okay, Philadelphia, let's give a hand to your own Sixers dancers.
passes to Catchings. Good ball movement here by the 76. Here's Free. Played in with a nice touch off the glass. And this guy is a scoring machine. I mean, I know I'm not the only one to describe him that way. Out to the right wing. And Embiid, the bucket on the assist by Burks. Embiid's got five. And they're forcing the ball inside, and it's working like a charm. Run later, the pass to Irving. Over Harris, and the 76ers tack on two more. And so it's Burks bringing it up now for the 76ers. It's a five-point game. Pass to Embiid. Over Catchings. Set it up with the fake, but it's offline. Here's Dunleavy, and he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. A real floor spacer for this team. I mean, Dunleavy is a knockdown shooter from any distance. First trip to the free throw line for him in this one. Taking two shots. Shooting two. First free throw is good. And so he's able to get one of two. The 76ers leading by four. Burks looking around. Pass to Harris. And he lays it straight in. Harris has got his third basket of the night right there. Harris has really become much more adept at finishing hard shots. Great focus there. Pass to Mix. He kicks it to Dunley. Down to five on the shot clock. Over to the wing. Here's World B3. They get it again. Catchings. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. That one on MB. The 76ers shooting their third and fourth free throw attempts of the game. Harvey Catchings. At the line for two. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the hook, and Philadelphia making a change here. Scott's checked in. And he can't hit the second. The 76ers leading by six. Here's Feibel, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. Yeah, that's good vision from Harris. I mean, he draws so much attention himself, so he's become a capable passer. Outside Irving. The pass to Dunley. Here's Catchings. Passes to Free. Outside Irving. Pass to Catchings. Here's Free, guarded by Horford, and they'll turn it over. Could not get off a shot. 24-second violation. This is ball. Horford checked in for the 76ers. Here's Bible. And the 76ers tack on two more. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Yeah, you've got to turn up the dial on the intensity at the defensive end if you're them. I mean, it's still early, but I agree with you. Here's Korkmaz. 51 seconds left to play in the first quarter. 
across to Burks. Five to shoot. Let's the three fly. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Here's free. Count it. Good. He's got his second basket of the night. And they've repeatedly probed inside in the first half, guys. And, and it's paid off. Five second differential between the shot clock and the game clock. And the pass to Burks. A 17 footer. And he makes that one. Their play on both ends has been superb. We, we'll see if they can maintain the momentum. And you know, nothing like getting an opponent on the ropes early. You love that if you're on that side of the scoreboard. And they are landing some haymakers now. Irvin attacking. And then Irvin sends it in. Artistry and poetry in motion. Irvin can create in the air as well as anybody. And so it's the Philadelphia 76ers in the driver's seat, up eight points at the end of the quarter. They check the tone. They love their tempo. They're going to be very tough to stop. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. If you're just joining us, we've played through one quarter of action so far. And looking at what we've seen from the 76ers, what do you guys think? Well, in that first quarter, they, they were intent on just pounding the ball down low. Yeah, and it's worked. They've got a clear edge and points in the paint. Now we'll see if they go with a more balanced attack or just keep on pounding it inside. And here are the 76ers now. So to begin the second quarter for the Philadelphia 76ers, is out there with Port Mons. Then there's Horford. Then there's Alec Burks. And it's Thibel in at the two spot. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. And now a chance to see what's coming up for Philadelphia. On Saturday, they'll be taking on Victor Oladipo and the Indiana Pacers. Then on Monday, they'll take on John Wall and the Washington Wizards. And it's going to be home game after home break. game after home game Two for shot. this group. So they got a great chance to string together a number of wins given how strong they've been playing. And the first one at the line is good. World be free. If there was ever a more fitting moniker, I haven't heard it. This guy is unconscious as a jump shooter and fun to watch. He's perfect from the line this time. The 76ers leading by six. Burks the pass to Thibel. Al Horford. Fades away. That one goes in. And the jump shot of Al Horford. Cash, money, all the time. Got to D him up or you pay the price. Okay, well, let's go down to David Aldridge for a report from the sideline. Kevin, Josh Richardson has made himself into one of the top defensive wings in the league. Richardson says there's a certain competitiveness that comes with being a good defender. The defensive end takes will, and I have a lot of it. Kevin J. Rich is self-described as super competitive. That edge is what drives him. It sure is. That's what it takes. Thank you, David. And he did everything he could to make that shot as difficult as possible. And you know what, guys? That will pump him up because he takes a ton of pride in what he does on defense. Here's free. He has six. This is to Bryant. I get six. That one's in. His first bucket of the game. He's one for two. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Yeah, I think they've got to ramp up the aggressiveness, Greg. I mean, if they don't, things are just going to get worse for them. And he'll shoot free throws here. Clearly fouled on that shot that time. The whistle blows. Yeah, the defender all over. Greg, he got him good there. I mean, that's why the shot was so far off. The 76ers shooting their sixth and seventh free throws in the game. And 
he can't get the first one. Collins checked in for Mike Dunley. Second free throw, good. The 76ers trail by seven. Here's free. He has six. We're now about two minutes into the second quarter. Misses the win. He had him with that bump thing. Right wing. Is a three. Catchings with the rebound. By Bolt on two of five from the floor. Three against Burks. Three passes to Collins. And here is Bryant. Pocket four. Floats one. Good work defensively by Horford. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. McGinnis is checked in for Philadelphia. Simmons checked in for Philadelphia. Second quarter of play with almost three minutes gone. Free against Burks. Passes it to Scott. Simmons on the wing. He's guarded by Collins. Here's Horford. Got a hand on it. Three minutes of action so far in the second quarter. The drive by Bryant, and the call will be against Al Horford. That's his first foul. Some changes for Philadelphia. Dawkins comes in for catching, and Bibby subbed in for free. Philadelphia also making some changes. Josh Richardson comes in for Burks. And it's Jake Milton in for Scott. McGinnis the pass to Collins. Here's McGinnis. Six to shoot. They get a hand on it. Over Richardson. The 76ers with another miss and smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy, making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. Now here's Simmons. He's got six. That's in, and that's his fourth basket of the night. He's taken seven shots, a solid 57%. And Simmons so deft with the floater. Freezing the defense completely. Here is Bibby. Still looking for his first bucket in this one. Kicks it out to Cohen. McGinnis against Simmons. Can they get it? McGinnis' shot is off. The 76ers leading by nine. Pass to Richardson. Here's Milton. Back to Richardson. So it's Richardson with the jam. My goodness, he is such a great dunker. Greg, a high riser, no doubt about it. Nothing surprising about that, guys. We've come to expect plays like that from him, and still, they never get over. McGinnis' shot is off. And here's Simmons. He'll bring it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They lead by 11, the largest margin of the game. And the amazing moves of Simmons. I mean, he's just so much fun to watch when he's got the ball in his hand. Here is Bibby. 76ers getting the bucket. Here's McGinnis. Outside Cowan. That's to Dawkins. It's good. He's got eight. And 
their balanced effort at both ends has hushed this crowd. Yeah, you said the key word out, there, balance. I mean, their big lead owes as much to their defense as their offense. And the 76ers call time here. And the lack of rim protection, top of the list. Yeah, you know, just look at the numbers, guys. I mean, they are being taken to the woodshed in the paint. Tobias Harris comes in for Korkmaz. Now Bibby. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. McGinnis the pass to count. Just five to shoot. Over Richardson. And it comes off the front of the rim. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Stolen by Bibby. Here's Bryant. The putback. It's good on the putback. This has got six. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. Now here is Harris. Oh, six points for him. For a while now, you and I were just talking. We've had a rule that a team cannot go without a first-round pick in consecutive years. Could it be time to lift that restriction? I certainly wouldn't mind discussing lifting the restriction, but I like it as it is on the books because it does lend itself, I think, to competitive balance. And that's important in the strength of a league. Now, here is Bibby. Here's Dawkins. And the shot is long. The 76ers leading by 13. Milton the pass to Simmons. And here is Harris. Shoots from 14. Rebound by the 76ers. Venus has got five rebounds tonight. They need a bucket in a big way here to regain some confidence. Well, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. Philadelphia shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. Taking two shots. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. No good on the free throw. And a three-time college champion. Bibby has that just that great understanding for the game. Knows what a team needs from him on a play-by-play -play basis. And he sinks the second. The 76ers leading by 12. Outside, Simmons. Richardson, that's a two-pointer. The 76ers again can't hit it. Now the 76ers with it. Now, here is Bibby. Outside, Collins. Now the pass to McGinnis. Bibby with it. Passes it to Dawkins. And it's Joel Embiid with the rebound. Embiid's got the glass covered here tonight. 11 boards for him. On the way, Harris. Hooked away. Harris against Irving. 
to the paint. With the second effort, here's McGinnis, and the layup is good. McGinnis has got eight points. Yeah, coach's pet peeve there. No box out. Those are free points you're giving away. Got to work harder on the glass. Here's Milton. He's got eight. Here's Simmons. And it's sent back by Irving. And not many guys Irving's size are this good at blocking shots. Takes incredible timing and athleticism. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup. But that's exactly what you need to do. It is. I mean, no reason to back off and give him the layup. Much better off making him go to the line. The 76ers have only made two attempts shooting poorly at the line in this one. And, and 75% on the season as a unit from the free throw line. You know, their percentage has dropped off just a little bit compared to last year, guys, but it's not a huge drop off, so no major concern. And he knocks down the first one. And Philadelphia making a change here. Dunleavy's checked in. one and misses one each at the line. The 76ers trail by 11. A floater. Bibby with the bucket. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. So it's Philadelphia now. This game coming after a loss against the Pistons. Pass to Simmons. The call on the shot that sends him to the line. You just have to be more careful with Simmons. I mean, he's absolutely brilliant at keeping the defense off balance. And these are his second and third free throws tonight. And of course, we'd all like to see his percentage at the line improve, but he just does not have the touch right now. He's in the 60s. Guys, I think free throw shooting, and, and Steve, you can speak to this, is all about rhythm and confidence, and he hasn't been able to establish any rhythm there this season. And the first one drops. And Simmons drops them both. The 76ers trail by 11. Pass to Bibby. Irving surveying the floor. Kicks to Dunlap. There's the pass to Bibby. Shot clock at five. Fires high post. That one's rebounded by Embiid. Embiid's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. And here's Bibby. Tipped. Now the 76ers on the break. Richardson's running, and he overdid it there. Too much force, it looked like, on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant. Boy, a, a very hard foul that time, and the officials had to slap him with the flagrant. I mean, you can't let him get away with that kind of contact. Yeah, gee, that's an easy call for the officials to make when there's that much contact. The league is really cracking down on those sort of plays. That's good from Richardson. And Richardson drops the ball. Next check in for Philadelphia. Free comes in for Bidden. Richardson finds Simmons. Here's the floater. Passes it to Embiid from the arc. A shot is good. Scores his third basket in six tries. Shooting 50%. He's capable of bearing the triple. Joel Embiid is not bashful when it comes to shooting from there. As a matter of fact, I think he 
don't take too many threes, but he can make them. Here's free. He has six. Irving. He gets it in there. Genius. Irving's got 12 in the game. And he's really shot the ball well, but, but it hasn't been contagious. Richardson outside. Back to Embiid. Nice pass. Led him to the rack perfectly for the layup. That gives him a double-double in this one. 11 points and 12 rebounds. 127 left to play in the first half. Moving against Harris. Out of bounds. Philadelphia takes possession. Jack Lindsay is checked in for McGinnis. And the 76ers also making a change. Alec Burks checked in for Richardson. 119 left in the first half. And B dishes to Harris. Ball's knocked loose. And now the 76ers on the break. Here's Irving. He's off on that one. Simmons with the defensive effort. Who's got Simmons? Here's Thibel. And the powerful one-handed slam. You got to recognize Simmons is a pass first guy, which is why you can't leave somebody open around. Pass to Irving. Over Harris. And that one's good, Irving. Irving's got four points now in the quarter. And Simmons has got the ball here for the 76ers. Pass to Harris. There's 37 seconds left to play here in the half. But drive by Simmons. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Catchings has got his fifth rebound right now in the game. Dunleavy's shot is off. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. The shooting numbers just aren't there yet in the quarter. Outside Irving. One second left. And you know, Embiid is a decorated defender, a guy who consistently brings energy on this end of the floor. And through the first half, a pretty lopsided affair. 76ers on top, up by 16. We're going to step away briefly, but get you right back out here for the start of the third quarter after our halftime. It's the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, everybody. Good to see you back here on our halftime show. Well, actually, we can't see you, but you can see us, but you get it. Ernie Johnson, Kenny the Jet Smith, Shaquille O'Neal. You're watching the NBA on 2K Sports. Philadelphia finds themselves ahead after two quarters. They're leading by 16. Kenny, what's your tip? Well, how about that ball? Man? That was a true definition of team basketball. All five guys moving, all guys rotating, everyone touching the ball, a bunch of assists, tons of easy baskets. It gives everyone on the floor confidence when you're playing like that. Shaq, what do you think about Philadelphia? Well, they struggle in a number of areas. Protecting the rim is really at the top of the table. They haven't made that a priority. They haven't put forth a whole lot of effort. You've got to protect the rim. And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. Scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. You look at Julius Irving, what a contribution. And how about the amount he's contributing in the scoring column through two quarters? He has been terrific. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. And with the second half upon us, We'll find out if this game becomes the route that it's threatening to be. The 76ers trail by 16, all fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the second half of basketball. So on the floor for Philadelphia. Bibby is out there with Collins. Then there's Irving. And it's McGinnis. And it's Dawkins. And at the five, Roman the paint. Shot clock at three. The pass to McGinnis. And they force the shot clock violation. Great D. Seven sixes ball. Here's the 
Here's Milton. Maybe covering. Pass to Embiid. Al Richardson. Lock at six. Here's Milton. Score the bucket. He's made five so far, shooting a very clean five of seven. That's their third straight make off an assist. Maybe he kicks to Collins. Here's McGinnis. He can't get that one to fall. And Philadelphia the other way now. And here we go. No good from Simmons. The 76ers trail by 18. Here's Irving. That one's not going to go. Some solid defense from Harris. And uh, we're about a minute and a half here into the second half. Stolen by Collins. Inside. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That one on MB. The 76ers have gone just four of eight from the line tonight, hoping to move that free throw percentage up a bit. Taking two shots. Good from McGinnis. McGinnis hits them both. Over a minute and a half into the third quarter of action. Guinness against Simmons. And the dunk by Embiid. When he's close to the rim, the attitude that Embiid brings is, I'm dunking this thing. Bibby passes to Irving. Good D by Embiid. Clearly out of sync to begin this half. 0 for their first three attempts. Here's Milton. Bibby covering. With the teardrop, Julius Irving comes up with the rebound. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Philadelphia 76ers. They trail by 18. Bibby passes to Dawkins. Shoots it. Plenty of room around him, and it's good. You know, after starting 0 for 3 this half, they finally get one down. Here's Milton. Bibby covering. Embiid, the pass to Milton. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. This is his first trip to the line tonight. Shane Milton taking two shots. Shooting two. That free throw, no good. Al Horford, he's checked in for Simmons. Good on the second free throw. The 76ers trail by 17. Bibby kicks to Collins. Here's McGinnis. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Yeah, the offense scuffling a bit to start this second half. Only one for the first five. And it's sent back by Irving. Oh, he's going to get hit with his second flagrant foul of the day, and that's the limit. He's out of the game and on his way to the locker room. I can't believe he wouldn't exercise 
more control. I mean, knowing he already had one flagrant foul, you can't be that reckless when you're on thin ice like he was. Greg, after his first flagrant, you knew two, the two. officials were going to have their eyes on him the rest of the way, and now he'll be making the lonely walk, the walk of shame, back to the locker room. And Philadelphia making a change here. Lions checked in. First one falls for him. Good on both. Here's Harris. 19 point lead, which is the largest margin in the game. Philadelphia moving the ball around. Well, it was only a matter of time, but they finally get the bucket. Harris has got eight points in the mid-range. Rarely the hallmark of efficiency in today's NBA, but it is on point tonight. It sure is, Greg. It might be the strongest aspect of their offense here. McGinnis' has shot is off. And smothered him on that mid-range attempt. As a defender, he's going to just be a bothersome, worrisome guy, making you miserable all night. A hand in your face on every jump. Now, here is Bibby. Following the missed shot by Tobias Harris. Outside Cowan. Shot clock at six. Wing shot on the way. Head shot off. Good work defensively by Richardson. All sorts of time. And Philadelphia grabs the miss. Guinness has got nine rebounds now tonight. Here's Irving. Bucket is good. He's got 16. I tell you what, what a good thing that he showed up today because without him, this thing would already be over. At the elbow, it's Harris. They grab their own miss. Goes up again, and plenty of contact on the shot. So, two free throws coming up. And Philadelphia gets called for the foul. The line, you know, looking to score six, often six, from there, six, Harris six, is excellent at drawing the defense's attention six, and fouls. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far oh, for the 76ers. Take a, break. take a break. You know, I thought maybe Two they'd shots. cool off a bit at halftime, but they've continued to bury the jump shots. Another thing they've done tonight is work the ball into the paint for plenty of those close-range points. you got to have those. That's good from Harris. And done a much better job from the line this half. They've gotten that percentage up over 80 for the game. Catching up on the changes for Philadelphia. Scotty's checked in for Embiid. And it's Quirk Moss in for Shake Milton. And Harris drops them both. You know, over time, I think Harris has become really good at accepting more responsibility, and that's part of learning how to be a leader. Bibby dishes to Collins. McGinnis, the pass to Collins. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. No question, he got bumped on that shot. Yeah, the officials didn't need to talk that one over. It was obvious. For Philadelphia, they have hit six free throws in ten attempts. Two shots. First one falls. And you know what makes Colin so hard to guard is a number of things. One, he's, his effort is without question and constant. He's got high skill level. And he's also sneaky athletic as a uh, combo guard. That's also good. So he hits both free throws. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe, and they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. Now, here's Scott. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Here's Horford. Good. And Harris gets the assist. assist from Harris has got his fourth assist in this one. A remarkable interior presence. Horford's a veteran who still has those polished post moves. Here's Collins. 
Pass to McGinnis. It's hauled in by Harris. Harris has got six rebounds here tonight. Pass to Richardson. Tries again. And the layup is good. Richardson's got his second bucket of the night. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. It seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Here's Korkmaz following the score by Josh Richardson. Shoots. Horford no luck. I guess even he has to miss one of those once in a while. It's Collins with the drive, and it's good for two. Collins has got four points now in the quarter. Philadelphia leading by 21. Here's Richardson. He has six. Korkmaz passes to Horford over Bryant. Horford no luck. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for Philadelphia. Down low. Some solid defense from Harris. Philadelphia with the ball. Here's Korkmaz. Good. And Harris gets the assist. Uh, assists like that have typified their effort today. Terrific ball movement. Really a prime example of the difference in how these teams have operated offensively. Much more individual play at the other end. And Philadelphia has possession. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. The pass to McGinnis. Maybe with it. Passes it to Collins. Hope they get it there. Bibby passes to McGinnis. Goes back up. Good work defensively by Richardson. Boy, just cannot buy a bucket, guys. I'll tell you what, that's a painful quarter for him, and it's painful for me to watch, too. And the shot goes in. I'm sorry, that's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they have. Timeout called the 76ers. Trying to find some answers offensively. Yeah, and you know, that's going to be the focus of this timeout. They need to come up with a spark to get the offense going. He's jacked in for McGinnis. Mix comes in for Bryant. And Freeze subbed in for Bibby. Get up, get up, get up. On the wing, Irving. 16 points for him. Knocked loose. Oh, that's what? And so it looks like the 76ers will retain possession here. Korkmaz passes to Thibel. Six on the shot clock. Catchings with the rebound. Catchings has got seven rebounds in the game. And then Irving shines it in. Hey, guys, in the open court, that's where Dr. J has you holding your breath. He is a human highlight reel. Burks the pass to Thibel. Over Dunleavy, drops it in from 11 feet. Thibault's got nine points. The 76ers squad is struggling. Pass 
to Dunleavy. He feeds it to Irving. The jump hook, and that's off the glass and in. And I tell you what, Kevin, he is on some kind of roll. Julius Irving for making it. Ha! Burks kicks to Cork Mons. Or for the pass to Fiber. I see you. Got a piece of it. Now the 76ers with it. Free passes to Mix. Here's Free. Burks covering. Shot clock at six. Here's Irving. And that one, good. Irving's got eight points in the quarter. Seems like he can't miss right now, guys. I mean, completely in the zone this quarter. Pass to Thibel. Free against Burks. Here's the pass to Thibel. Horford trying to free himself up. Thibel can't get it to go. This shot's just, it's not there right now with this team leading. Perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Three catchings. It's hauled in by the 76ers. Horford's got seven rebounds in the game. Passes to Thibel. He kicks to Scott. Here's Thibel. Over Dunleavy. And he tries off the glass, but it's no good. Irving passes to Mix. Yes, and it's Irving picking up the assist. Man, have they been effective at getting the ball inside. I'll tell you, we're taking a look at some real deficiencies defensively. I mean, they've given up five straight good looks in the paint. And the 76ers call time here. They're trying to stem the tide here. Yeah, you know, they had to do something, anything to stop this run. You can't just let it go on any longer. Philadelphia also making a switch. Simmons is checked in. 119 left here in the third quarter. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. You know, got to stay down on the pump fake. You've heard me say it multiple times, guys. When Simmons gets you in the air, the rest of it is easy for him. He's shooting free throws, number four in five here. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first free throw is good. And Philadelphia making a change here. Embiid's checked in. So he hits both of them. 111 left in the third quarter of the game. To the inside. The shot comes out, and the 76ers go the other way with it. Here's Thibel. Not gonna go that time. Some solid defense there from Irving. Down low. Here's World B free. Makes it off the glass. He's got eight points. Boy, what a tremendous score. Collins also willing to make the extra pass. Kevin, relentless on the offensive end. Here's Thibel. 
He's got nine. Back to Embiid. Just five on the clock. And basket number six to his stat sheet. He's now six for ten. They've been going to him an awful lot this game, and you can see why. He's pouring it on. Here's free. Eight points for him. To the paint. Here's Irving. And guys, it's crazy. He really is a late move. You know, Irving didn't have the big time amateur career you hear about with some stars. But boy, he's more than made up for. For Philadelphia, they have made eight of their 12 free throws in this game. Taking two shots. And he makes the first. Both free throws good for Irving. Eight seconds left in the third. Outside, Simmons. MB. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Philadelphia taking a 19-point lead into the break. Their defense has been active and effective. We'll get right back to the action when we return. And let's take now this moment to bring up our State Farm assist of the game. It's just true artistry right there. I mean, great decision on where to go with the ball. And how about the perfect delivery? And they'd love to see every possession in this way. True team basketball. And one quarter to go in a game that, to this point, has not been an evenly fought contest. Of 76ers leading by 19 on the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. The talented combo up front, Horford and MB. Then it's Simmons, and it's Milton in at the two guard. Now here's MB. That one a little long. Look at him, and he's a little hit and miss from there, even without a defender in his face. No guarantee. And the basket by free. They should continue to get the ball inside. The defense struggling to contain them. And when you make five in a row in close like that, it also takes pressure off your perimeter guys, too. Here's MB. Here's Thibel. Lock at six. Shoots it up. Julius Irving comes up with the rebound. And thus far, they've managed to overcome an off game from him offensively. And Embiid with the block. Pass to Milton for the finish. And he caps off the fast break with a monster slam. Great teamwork punctuated by a strong finish. That is the perfect fast break, guys. Getting a hoop before the defense can get set. Now, here's Collins. Here's Irving. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. And Beach got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Milton. Here's Horford. And there's the bucket. Stay with it on the offensive glass, getting it done. And the 76ers lead by 21. And here are the 76ers now. Pass to Collins. Mark, we hear a lot about the young basketball players in this country, the good ones playing in the AAU system. Is that the best way to develop talent for the NBA? It's one of the better ways because the competition level is quite good across regions and throughout the country with these AAU teams. I think there's some great AAU programs and some tremendous benefits to participating in AAU basketball. Some things are better than others with it, but overall, I think it's pretty solid. 
Here's Collins. Philadelphia getting their last shot to go. Knocks it loose. And here's the break. Here's Thibel. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Here's Free. And the pass to Collins. Here's Catchings, guarded by Embiid. Catchings, no good. And that is a textbook example of how to defend your rim. And you know, guys, I love his fight and grit on the interior. I mean, he never lets a shot go uncontested. Yeah, just a simple one-hand flush. I think he got a few more inches on his vertical by going with the spike. Yeah, I agree with you. That's what it looked like to me. I mean, he was way up there. Here's Free. and the run. Shot up two there. He's got four this quarter. You know, the defense has to be better. I mean, you can't give up that look. And Philadelphia calls time here. Look, the max contract didn't exist when you were playing. Is it something that should be up for debate? Well, it's a function of the economics of the league now. And in theory, there's some reasons why you have max contracts because a guy has earned that opportunity, a way to keep a star player or max contract player with the same team I think is part of the reasoning behind it I mean debating it and talking about it is, is, is probably something that makes some sense if you're thinking about getting rid of it I'm not so sure in for catchings. McGinnis comes in for mix. And Bibby subbed in for free. Harris is checked in for the 76ers. Josh Richardson comes in for Ben Simmons. Here's Milton. Harris outside. This one for three. Embiid inside. He's against Smith. And the shot goes in from Embiid. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a bucket. Collins up top. Here's McGinnis. Good work defensively by Horford. Here's Milton. The two-way contract, a relatively new invention that gives players time in both the G League and the NBA. I love it, Kevin, because it's another pathway for those aspiring to be NBA players to have a legitimate shot to make their dream come true. The G League is just a notch below the NBA in terms of overall talent. And so I love the fact that players who desire to be pros can have a pathway to get to the NBA by being part of the um, G League as well. And these G League players are having an impact, aren't they? They're making a difference on a lot of teams. 40% of the players in the league have spent some time in the G League, so it speaks to the um, impact the G League has on the NBA. Two shots. Relax on the first. That one is off. Some changes for Philadelphia. Ryan is checked in for Irving. Dunleavy comes in for Collins. And it's Brown in for Bibby. He hits the second from the line. And not a single free throw attempt in that first half, but he has been far more active since the break and drawn some fouls. 
here's Neto. Now Harris. Clark, the NBA gives out so many awards at the end of the season. Is there an award missing that you'd like to see? You know what? I think they've got the bases covered really well with the number of awards they give out, Kevin. But I would like to perhaps see consideration given to a sophomore campaign award. That would be kind of cool because sometimes the rookie of the year, at least recently, has been a little cloudy because a rookie had been in the league a year, Ben Simmons, case in point, and then was counted. It was actually technically his second year, but his first year playing. A sophomore award might be something worth adding to the list. That's a great idea. Well, I'll tell you what, his vertical is awesome. Off the charts, a short center who still makes his presence felt. Here's McGinnis. And that one clearly a foul. Gets the whistle and two shots coming up. That one on Richardson. And one of the problems in the first half, that shoddy work at the free throw line. They needed to fix that, and they've been much improved since the break. That's good for McGinnis. Mark Miles, he's checked in for Philadelphia. No good on the second free throw. Mark, it feels like we're seeing more and more of this, but bench celebrations and reactions at both college and pro level. Yeah, you know what, Kevin? I think it's an outgrowth of the social media. Uh, you're right. I agree. I think there's no question because the, anything that can be done that's creative and fun is going to find a life on social media and maybe go viral. And guys know that. They're aware. I mean, this generation has grown up with social media. So they understand that. They could be seen beyond just the arena if they do something pretty clever. And you and I are sitting over here watching it. We're laughing as much as anybody else, aren't we? Oh, I'm not denying that it's fun. I love seeing <laughs> it, actually. But on occasion, it does get a little carried away. Miller's checked in for McGinnis. The 76ers also with a sub. Burks is checked in. Six to shoot. The shot's good. Yeah, they're going to have a nice little run here. And so Brown will bring it up for Philadelphia. To the middle. Here's Dunleavy. Well time pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And he found the soft spot in the D on that possession. Here's Philadelphia. Neto, the pass to Burks. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. That one on Dunleavy. Shooting for Philadelphia. Alec Burks. Two shots. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he knocks down the first one. Clark, the relationship between referees and players reaching a, a fever pitch. What can be done to smooth those waters and mend those fences? Well, I think first and foremost, players have to give. Both sides have to give in this equation, but I think it's incumbent upon the players to accept and respect the position of the officials, and the officials have to also be willing to engage in interacting well with the players it's a two-way street but I think most of that is on the players because they have to control how they respond to officials more than officials have to respond to the players every team looking to get easy ones in transition I think one of the best ways guys to score in transition is that quick hitter after the first burst now here's Bryant passes it to Dunleavy outside Bryant 
Here's Brown. Again, Philadelphia. And Philadelphia has possession. Pass to Burks. Bell defended by Bryant. Back to Burks. And he uses the glass on the layup. Burks has got six in the quarter. Another bucket down low. They've been the aggressors taking the ball inside and attacking at the rim. You're exactly right. It's been all good at one end. And let's be diplomatic and just say not so good at the other end. Here's Brown after Alec Burks' score. Brown. And it's O'Quinn with the rebound. Just a solid performance on the interior. The rebounding has been off the chart. Yeah, you look across the board, it's actually sizing up, shaping up to be a great game. I mean, strong performances throughout, and they've really been strong on the glass. And that's why you don't let them get positioned deep in the post. Exactly. I mean, once he's got the ball in that area, the battle's already lost. Now, here's Burks. Do you think it helps the pace of the game with the NBA recently modifying the shot clock rule that after an offensive rebound, it doesn't go back to 24. It goes now to the new number, 14 seconds. Well, I really like the rule because you don't have to bring the ball over the half-court line, which is eight seconds, so it makes sense, and it does speed up the game, in my opinion. Miller finds Dunleavy. Brown right side. Shot clock at five. Smith the pass to Dunleavy. Releases. No good there. And the 76ers go the other way with it. Here's Neto. Pass to Burks. Here's O'Quinn. And terrific work on the offensive glass. And he picks up two. O'Quinn's got four this quarter. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill. And it goes out of bounds. That one is off Smith. One forty-three left to play here in the fourth. Here's Neto. Kicks it to Burks. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. That's his first personal foul. Clark, take us inside the halftime locker room in the NBA. Well, players typically just regroup individually. There may be some conversation between the players as a group, but then the coaches take a break. will huddle, take a break. evaluate what transpired in the first half, what adjustments need to be made, and then they'll communicate that um, to the team. And it's basically a time to rest and regroup for the players to adjust and strategize for the coaches. Clark, do you think there's any videotape review in there, maybe showing players certain sets, certain schemes? In this day and age, for sure, with the use of iPads and technology, mm. um, if you go back to my time, there was no um, quick turnaround of video in the halftime locker room. Right, right. I do know officials do that, too, in their locker room at halftime. And Burks hits two free throws. And turnovers have been the issue for him. You can see the coaches have gotten into him a little bit about this. They've got to do a better job of taking care of the ball. Now, here is Smith. Ron Levy finds Smith. Bryant with it. Just four to shoot. And no good. And the activity he shows around the rim is why he is such a respected defender. And you know what? He's not going to give up an easy finish at the rim. I mean, that's just against his constitution. Now, here's Burks. T right on him. Good on the shot. Saw the opportunity to put this away and did not turn it down. And, you know, this run shows what kind of attitude this team has. I mean, the win is there. Go get it. Now here's Bryant. Run lady, the pass to Bryant. The pass to Bryant. Smith up top to end the cold streak. That shot, no good. 
And so it's Burks bringing it up now for Philadelphia. And so the 76ers can now just hold on to the ball. This one was over well before the final buzz. The fans were waiting for something to get excited about Greg, but they never got it. They sure didn't. I mean, they just rolled to this win. They made it look really easy. What an efficient performance at both ends. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Clark Kellogg, Greg Anthony, and David Owen, this is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching the NBA presented by 2K Sports. We'll see you next time.